today we'll be making veggie fried rice. This is a once again another good dish that you can use with your leftovers in your fridge to be cost effective. Um, if you need to make rice for the dish um, and it's not a day old rice or two days old rice, it's good after you cook your rice to lay it on a flat surface so that it could dry out a little bit. Good fried rice um, really works well with dried out rice. Usually day old rice is even better. Here we have some ingredients of what I had in the refrigerator. We have celery, I ch chopped bell pepper, mushrooms, a combination of red, green, bell pepper, onions and carrots, some green scallions, I have some Asian influence seasonings here. I have something called a Chinese five spice. It has cinnamon, star anise in it. If you don't have it, it's no, no big deal, but it does give that Asian flavor to it. I have some ginger powder. I have some black pepper and I have some garlic powder. So you want to start with a hot pan. Put our fat in there. As you see, that's, that's what you want to hear is a sizzle. I'm dumping all my veggies. Now this is a veggie fried rice without egg. There's no egg in this one. It's going to put a nice sauté on it. One thing about a good fried rice is you want the vegetables to be a little bit crispy. You don't really want them to be all the way done. So you want them to have a little out there same quality to it. Let's see it with a little garlic powder. A little black pepper. Chinese five spice. If you do find this, use this sparingly until you know what, how you like your um, flavors to be. Because it has a strong flavor. And ginger powder. We just saute. Add our rice. Now at this point, once you incorporate all the ingredients, so we incorporate all of our ingredients. Make a single layer, flatten it down as much as you can to get a little crispiness on the rice. Okay. Now with a lot of Asian foods, their salt component is usually soy sauce. I opted out of soy sauce doing a less sodium version, but you know you can add your salt and your pepper or your couple of dashes of soy sauce. So you're going to let this be one flat layer to get that little crispy bit at the bottom. And like I said, we have our rice is already cooked. Vegetables are going to have a little crisp quality to them, so we don't have to cook this very long. This is really a five to seven minute dish once you have assembled, I mean prepared and prepped everything, excuse me. So if you see the rice is starting to turn a nice brown, that's what you're looking for. And we're just going to serve. Here you have it, cost-effective veggie fried rice using leftover vegetables. Hello everyone, I will be making a margarita pizza for you today. We had some, this is stuff that was all left over in my refrigerator from some things that I made earlier this week. So we got mozzarella, mushrooms, pizza sauce, parsley, pepperoni, Parmesan cheese, some garlic butter. Um, I went and got uh, your local cauliflower crust from your local grocery store chain. Or you might have to go to Whole Foods. Um, I've already separated my basil leaves, fresh basil. You can chop those up or you can leave them whole. I'm going to leave them whole. I'm going to 
do my mushrooms. I don't want the stems for this particular recipe. So I'll be taking them off. They've already been washed. I'm just going to slice these. They're small, you can use change your chef knife to a paring knife. There's no problem with that. You just want to make them smaller. You just don't want the whole mushroom on there. And mushrooms are not typically a part of margarita pizzas, let's be clear. These are just some leftovers I had, so they're all going to get used up. There's no right or wrong way to do a pizza unless you burn it or over season it. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna put my sauce on. Like I said, it was some leftover pizza sauce because we made pizza, stuffed pizza rolls earlier. But we don't want to throw away anything, so we're just going to reuse what we got. Use your leftovers. Now I'm going to lay down my basil next, just so it can stick to the sauce. No right or wrong way to lay it down. Take your time. Now I'm going to lay out my fresh mozzarella. Just stagger it. I think that's good. What do y'all think? Now we're gonna stick. Now you can drizzle it with some um, olive oil if you like. I have a little garlic butter right here. I'm just Sprinkle a little bit on there. And I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted because the crust is already done for you. The sauce and everything goes. And we'll stay tuned. Over here, what it look like? the finished product. And this is your finished mozzarella, I mean margarita pizza. Now I'm just going to add a little parmesan on top. And just a little parsley for color. And there you have it. Margarita pizza. Cauliflower crust. So healthy. Alright, till next time. Thank you.